Biomechanics principles numbers 5 and 6. Deformity correction will not balance muscles, nor will muscle balancing correct deformities. Deformity correction will not correct muscle imbalances. And if it was muscle imbalances that created the foot deformity, then persistence of the muscle imbalances will recreate the deformity, despite adequate deformity correction. This morphs into the next biomechanic principle, which is that tendon transfers will not correct structural deformities. Tendon transfers will correct dynamic deformity, and they will likely prevent or delay structural deformity from occurring. And the balanced muscles will maintain deformity correction, except perhaps in progressive neuromuscular disorders. In this last situation, as the strong muscles get weaker, deformities may reoccur. So combining those two biomechanical principles, we can state quite truthfully and frankly that one needs to correct deformities and balance muscle deformities when both exist in a child's foot. Deformity correction without muscle balancing risks recurrent deformity. Muscle balancing without deformity correction results in a well-balanced deformity, and that's clearly not the goal.